at you, you stare politely right on through. So I'm so on a window to your right, see your left, will you stay right? Straight the lines, yeah, play. You began to wonder why you can't let I go wrong with the last great to see a lot of the kids really pay attention to our speaker, um, James Loney, and he was so inspiring. Think of my captivity as a, as a kind of a school. You might find this to be a strange and maybe uh, astounding thing to say, but that there is very little difference between soldiers and insurgents. By inspiring student leadership and inspiring students to make a difference, we can really make a change not only in our school board, not only in our city, but hopefully in the world. It's who you decide to be, it's how you decide to think. It featured many workshops delivered by amazing presenters. People don't know about teen mental health issues, and so they don't seek help. The problem is that a lot of the ways that it presents are kind of an exaggeration of what many people associate with being a teenager. I think it's great that we have a lot of different workshops to be able to um, channel all the different interests. We were talking about water and the issue of like water shortage and the inequality. We came up with a lot of different ways that we can implement um, programs into schools where people with disabilities can be immersed into the society as equal. I attended the first uh, workshop which was Toronto Trek for Teens and I found that it was such a great idea of how it's trying to raise awareness for youth homelessness in Toronto. I was in the workshop from Heart Speak and speaking about Shannon's dream. I found that it was very inspirational and I find that that uh, documentary that was uh, produced by Shelley Steele should be implemented to go see in all schools. <laughs> It was amazing, like a lot of the students participated, they gave a lot of their input. Long story short, that's how I end up at Voices That Challenge is, is through Greg. And of course my life continued as a songwriter and performer and that became my job and that became what I did. So to come back here and speak to kids about social justice and music and the power of music to change minds and the power of music to change the world is really the story of me going from Bray Buff to being a full-time musician. Let me tell you what she needs to be. My workshop was all about uh, how a positive attitude can influence uh, your ability to lead but also your success. What we're trying to do with kids is we're trying to motivate them and let them know that you can achieve your goals. You can, whenever you have a goal, don't let people deplete you and uh, bring you down. Help kids recognize some of the issues both globally and locally and also um, teach kids and give the kids some, some skills. So push through your fear of the unknown to discover the you that you haven't met yet.